As you can see, we have here the original sand clock. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade that to the laser time writer. First, we have to reprogram the Arduino. We're starting just to open the serial mode monitor. Now we are going to check the, uh, the settings with the SED uh, command. We need, we need these parameters later on in the building. Now I'm going to print screen the settings. You can also write them down on a paper. Now I, I enter the code for the manual setting and write it to the EEPROM. Now that we have the parameters, we upload the sketch to the Arduino. Now we can power off the clock and can start assemble. Before we deassemble the sound clock, we'll prepare the backplate. Therefore, we need from the kit the push button and the backplate. Here we have two wires, heat shrinks, and the push button. We now need to uh, connect the wires of each wire plus minus 10 centimeters. So this is then we strip down the wires. We pre-soldering some tin on the wires. Then we take the push button. Here we're gonna attach the the cables and solder it. Now we take the, the small heat shrink and then we place it around one wire and then the other one. Now we're gonna to shrink the heat shrinks. You can do this with a heat gun or a solder iron. Now we're gonna place the push button on the acryl plate. First we need to remove the protection. Be careful when placing the push button, you don't damage the acryl plate. We need to place the push button in one way inside the hole. And we place the ring. Now we have prepared the back plate, and that was step one. Now we're gonna deassemble the sand clock. First, we need to remove the sand box. As you see, it is attached with wires. We need to desolder the wires. This is step four. Now we're gonna to deassemble the pantographs with these four screws. Be careful that you don't move the servo and motors. Secure them with the original screw. Okay, that's step six. Now we have to deassemble the frame. First, we start with, with loosening the connectors. Be sure you remember the right connections. Now we're going to remove the shield. We turn the sand clock upside down. And we're going to loosen these screws. Turn it back. Then we loosen a little bit these screws on Arduino so you can move a little bit with the USB board. This is step 9. Now we're going to replace the back cover and we're going to loosen these screws. This backplate we don't need anymore. Now we take the new one and we're gonna assemble it. Now we're gonna to replace the standoffs on the bottom plane. We unscrew them. We're gonna replace them with the black new ones. 
in the kit. This was step 12. Now we're gonna to reassemble the frame. We're gonna fasten them with the original screws. This was step 14. We have in the kit supplied LMG resistor with 2K2 resistance. Now we're gonna place them on R4. Place some tin on one side of the R4. Now we take the SMD resistor, place him on R4, heat it up. No solar the other side. That's it. Now the shield is finished and we can move on to the next step. Now we're gonna to replace the engine holders. We can put this aside for a moment. Now we have to loosen the DC motors. Make sure you don't move the position. Just carefully deassemble the engine. And we take the new one from the kit plus the spacer. Yes. Now we're going to remove the protective foil. Also take the protective foil from the spacer. Now we're going to reassemble the engines. We place the spacer in between the two engines before we screw the engines. <clears throat> now we're gonna place back the engine plate to the frame. That's done. Now we're gonna take back the old pantoworms. We need those, these screws for the new one. The acryl pieces you don't need anymore. Now we take the new one. As you see, all the new pieces with the new holder for the laser. We're gonna start with the small legs. Now we're gonna attach the long legs to each other. Now we can attach the pentagrams to the servo motors. Be careful that you don't move the servo motors. Now we're gonna to fasten the Arduino again and then we're gonna to place back the module and place back the connectors. Now we take the laser and the wires from the beginning. Now we're gonna open up the laser module. We're gonna to strip down the wires. And we're gonna to pre-solder the cables. Now we take the laser and we're gonna to pre-solder them too. And now we connect the wires with the laser wires. Now we're gonna to take the small heat shrink and cut them in half. We make sure we put them over the solder on it. And we're going to shrink. <coughs> now we take the large one, put both cables through the large one, and then we're going to shrink. Now we take the tube 
Now we're gonna place the laser in the holder. First we put the wires through this hole and then we can put the laser module on its place. This is step 28. Now we're gonna to solder the laser to the module. The negative, the black one, the black cable, we need to solder to the motor minus pad. The red one, we need to solder to a pin. You can see in the description. Now we're gonna to solder the push button. First we need to solder the ground. The ground is the fourth and the red one we need to solder to pin six. That's it. Now we're gonna take the glow in the dark sticker. Also we take the back plane and we take a pencil and we gonna to mark the current plate. Also we mark the holes. We take it off. Now we're gonna to make the, the holes for the screws. We take some thing to protect the table. Now we have the holes, we take a, a pair of scissors or a, a knife and cut out. Now we have the film ready. Before we place the glow lock sticker we need to take some soap. First we need to remove the last protective film. Then I'm gonna put the soap on the back plane for later on the uh, bubbles of air underneath the sticker. Now I take the sticker and remove the protective film and place it carefully on the back plane. Be sure there are no air bubbles underneath it. It has to dry in several minutes. After drying, we pick the last piece of acryl. Then we play, pick the frame. We place the back plane with the sticker. Then we pick the last piece of acryl here. And then we pack, pick the bolts and, and fasten them. Now we are finished with the assembly of the hardware, we are going to do the software. No, but first we need to attach the Arduino to the PC with a USB cable. And power the Arduino with the power adapter. We now open the serial monitor. Now we move in the, the common ECE. Then we put in the command SED. Here we see the, the standard parameters. Then we move up the, the arm, this SVMP1700. Okay, now I'm gonna open my saved settings from the sand clock. and put them in. We start with the SVML, this is the left server horizontal position. This is SVML, left horizontal is 2000. Then I go to save it with SV. S L H then the vertical position S V M L it's right this I save it
Now the right motor is SVMR1000. This is correct. Now we're going to save it as VSRH. Then we put in as S V on R and the vertical position of the right servo. Okay. We're gonna save this with S V S R V. Then we're gonna check if we're gonna write the settings. Now we can cal calibrate the uh, position of the laser. It's in the middle, so it's good. We're now gonna save the upwards position. It's the um, B. I'm going to save it. Now the downwards position as V M B. We're going to save this position too. As V S B. -D. Now we write this to the EEPROM and SEW, SEW, sorry. Now we're gonna enter the drowning interval. That's five minutes. If you want to upside down writing, you can enter the Comment DFE, then he writes it upside down. Now we switch to MSA, autonomous mode, and write it to the EEPROM, and we switch it on to automatic mode. If we turn down the lights, we can demonstrate the effect of the laser. If you push the button, he writes the time. That's it. Thanks for watching.